The history of this project is very interesting. Um, we had the, the treatment, the original treatment, which my father wrote with his writing partner, Jerry Jewell, and it was in our archives, long forgotten. And uh, we discovered this wonderful treatment. We thought, why did this never get made? It was so good. And then on further exploring in the archives, we actually found a box with the original puppets that were built for the special. And we also found the pitch materials where my father had posed the puppets. And his idea that was really original at the time was to take the puppets outside and shoot them in nature. So they had never done that. They'd been shooting always on a sound stage in very controlled environments. So he designed these puppets made of like very lifelike fur and they had taxidermy eyes. And the idea was that they would be more like little animals or critters that could really live in the outdoors. So we have taken those designs and we've now redesigned them with the Jim Henson Creature Shop for the new characters, which now use much more modern animatronic style puppetry. And we tried to figure out why did this special never get made because it is so charming, the story is really good. And we realized it was written right before Sesame Street was made. So as the treatment is dated 1968, it's pretty clear that the company got very busy with Sesame Street and this project just never got back off the shelf. So it's been exciting for us to take this really wonderful piece that's vintage Henson 